Yeah, we had a couple money games this weekend. Didn't didn't go as planned. I'm talking about Marshall. They got a big payout, more than a million dollars. The quote unquote lose to Notre Dame and they end up beating Notre Dame. You got Appalachian State. They got more than a million dollars to lose to Texas A&M, and they beat Texas A&M. Now, right now, I'm not talking about the, uh, the HBCU games because that's a whole different level. Appalachian State is an FBS school. Marshall uh, is an FBS school. Marshall and Appalachian State pulled up sets. Congratulations to them. Now, whoever took Marshall and Appalachian State they want a bunch of money. They want a boatload of money. It's a wild weekend in football. Just a wild weekend. You had Notre Dame drop out the top 25 for the first time since 2017. Now, we all know when it comes to college football, Notre Dame is America's team. They're America's team. They don't play in the conference. They got their own TV contracts. Their endowment is crazy. They crazy paid. They overhyped. They're no longer a top 25 team. And I never thought Marcus Freeman's job might be in jeopardy after just two games. Two games. Now he won't lo he won't lose his job. He'll play he'll, he'll coach at least two years at Notre Dame. At least two years at Notre Dame. Now, Scott Frost got fired, and Mickey Joseph, he's from Louisiana. He uh, he took the job. Well, he's interim coach. I wish him nothing but success going forward. Deion Sanders, he's talking about HBCUs need to get that one, at least $1 million, $1.5 billion to get their butts kicked by playing the FBS. He said this $500,000 is not enough money. Now I agree with Prom. HBCU should get more money to lose these football games. But Prom, if you keep avoiding FBS schools now next year, your program will really be on the FBS level, a lower level. And if you you continue to avoid FBS schools on the premise that you ain't gonna have your guys get slaughtered out there and maybe lose some bodies and they can't play during the rest of the season. Uh, people are gonna call you out. Now, I'm like, give, give Deion Sanders some time. Give him some time and he'll be he'll play some FBS schools. Like you just can't build something in a year or two. It takes time to build programs. But next year, Jackson State to be on that FBS level, lower level. And they got to start playing some Power Five schools. See where they at as a program. They got to start taking them chances, and I believe they will. And Jackson State will get that one million or that one point five million because they box office right now. So they're not going to get short change when they play a money game, not at all. But the beautiful thing about it, when they do play the money games. They're going to be prepared. They're going to be right. They're going to be on that same level as that other team. They ain't going to be losing 70 to nothing. It ain't going down like that. Prime ain't going down like that. Jackson State football ain't going down like that. They're going to be prepared. They ain't going to be losing 75 to 3 and 43 to 3 and 66 to 3 and all that. They're going to be a legit FBS program. Lower level. And they're going to give them FBS schools a little bit of work. 